And here we go. Bronco news coming at you in five, four, three, two. Okay, so as has become the norm in the Bronco breakdown, to start off the June edition, we're gonna talk 2020 Bronco rumors and whatnot. So uh, let's just dive right in. What has happened with the 2020 Bronco since May? To start off, if you guys keep up to date on all this rumor, you may have seen the two-door truck on TFL now. That's the fast lane. It's just the fast lane now. Anyways, they posted a video after seeing uh, what appears to be a two-door Ford truck roaming the streets. Now, speculation has come up for two things. The first argument is that it could, in fact, be the Ford Bronco. Now, what they're saying with that is maybe not the uh, exact Ford Bronco. Maybe it's another test mule. Another thing they're using to test drivetrain suspensions, things like that. I don't particularly think that that's what that is. I think it's something totally different. Which brings us to the next speculation, which is also equally exciting. And that's that this truck is a two-door Raptor. That thing's part Raptor. Now, because the way this truck looks, it probably wouldn't make most Bronco enthusiasts happy because there's really no... There's really no throwback is, I guess, the word I'll use. No throwback to the classic Bronco style. So that's why Bronco enthusiasts were probably a little bit disappointed. And I'm leaning more towards the Raptor argument uh, simply because of what I've heard. And that's that Bronco enthusiasts won't be disappointed with the body style in particular. So take it for what it is. Uh, it's just more Bronco rumors and gossip. Nothing too exciting there. But digging through some magazine, my pops found, and I have no idea how this was not spammed all across of the universe of the internet. How have I not seen this in places? But let me just read it to you. Uh, where am I? According to SEMA, SEMA, in this magazine, the 2020 Ford Bronco will have coil spring, Advantech, Dana Spicer, solid axles, front and rear. According to the article, it will have a Dana 33 in the front, Dana 44 in the rear. If you don't believe me, I ripped it right out of the magazine. So now again, because uh, it's saying that they're both going to be solid axles, I have no idea how this information hasn't flooded the internet. But here it is for you guys to do whatever you want with it. I just. You know, when you do something with the information and the rumors and you really start believing it, it probably becomes that much more disappointing when it doesn't happen, you know? So, I don't know. You know, until Ford confirms it or until, uh, even if Ford confirms it, until you see the new Bronco, it's like, it's still up in the air. So, I'm, I'm personally not holding my breath that this is gonna happen. Just because I've heard both sides of the story that yes, this, consultant for Ford has said they're not having them and this guy is a consultant for Ford he says they are having them so I don't know you know you decide what you want to believe and uh anyways you guys know this would be a huge win for us just because it's something that we've been asking for in the new Bronco removable top you know V8 which we're not gonna get and then uh just solid front axle again well, we can only hope. I guess if you really want to put up an argument for why it would be a solid front axle, I mean, you look at what they said about the Jeep Wrangler. They've literally said that it is in the crosshairs of their whole Bronco campaign. You know, so why wouldn't they want to compete on that level as far as off-road goes? So there's arguments to be made, and I think, I feel like they've heard most of the arguments. We're going to move on. This article can be found in the September edition of the magazine Peterson's Four Wheel and Off-Road. So, who actually writes this? Okay, I have no idea who wrote that article, so take it for what it's worth. All in all, pretty exciting stuff, but uh, that is June's 2020 Bronco news. Uh, you're definitely gonna wanna tune in July because I feel like the lids are just getting ready to pop off, man. This thing is getting ready to explode. 
load. With that said, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on that. We're not done with the video though. Stick around. We've got a lot more Bronco news. So next in Bronco news, as some of you may know, at the beginning of the month, we went up to Big Bear Bronco Bash. This event took place in Big Bear Lake, California. It was a super chill event, and I know I say that about every event, but this one, this one is. I mean, there's no raffles, there's no president, there's no committee, there's none of that. A bunch of Bronco guys coming and sitting around a campfire, enjoying, uh, enjoying everything Bronco. I mean, I guess you got the three B's of the Bronco world, and that's beer, barbecue, and Broncos. So definitely one you guys are wanna gonna want to. It's definitely one of those ones that you guys are gonna want to check out if you're in the neighborhood. The recap video for the Big Bear Bronco Bash is up on our YouTube channel, so make sure you check it out. Next up, most of you guys follow Nashville Early Bronco on YouTube and if you haven't seen he has been posting a ton of super cool Bronco stories so make sure you check all of those out he's put a lot of work into them and uh, there's some great stories out there that you guys are gonna want to hear I'll link his channel below also on YouTube uh, some pretty neglected Ford Broncos were spotted on the Haggerty channel the Haggerty channel on YouTube has a series called Barn Find Hunter, where they hunt down all kinds of crazy, worn out, old pieces of vehicle. And in this one, they found a ton of cool old Broncos up in Alaska. If you watch the Haggerty channel and the Bronco ones, the ones with Broncos in them, it's kind of shocking how many Broncos people in Alaska have, you know? It's like every one that you see, they got like four or five, so. Anyways, I'll link that episode below so you can go check it out. Okay, now for some fun. This month marks the 25th anniversary of the OJ Simpson Bronco chase. That iconic chase ironically had a huge part in cementing the Bronco as one of America's most beloved vehicles. Why? Uh, because people are weird. You know, but whether or not you think he's guilty or not, uh, as you know, he's out, he's dangerous, and he's got a little getting even to do. I got a little getting even to do. You know, maybe he had some traumatic incidents happen in prison. So... Leave him alone. I'll keep him. Anyways, that's that. Yay. Moving on to more positive news. Wild Horses has teamed up with some great people for a great cause. Gateway Bronco, best known for their beautiful, pristine Bronco builds, has teamed up with the Ryan Blaney Family Foundation to build a Bronco to help raise money to fight Alzheimer's. When asked to be a part of the build uh, and hearing the mission behind it, we hopped right on board. There isn't much information on the build as of yet, but as things continue to get into motion, as this build picks up pace, we will definitely keep you guys updated on all of that. Again, we are super honored to be a part of this build, and we hope that it will make a difference in the fight against this disease. So, we look forward to the following months, and uh, we can't wait to see the final result. Now, for anyone that has been around the Bronco community, or even the racing community, or the car community for long enough, the name Rod Hall may ring a bell. Bronco racer and enthusiast, Rod was an icon in the off-road racing world. He raced the Baja 1000 a whopping 50 consecutive times with his last race being raced in 2017 with him an 80-year-old unit of a guy. Sadly, on June 14th, 2019, the legend Rod Hall passed away. Having cemented his legacy in the off-road racing world and known as a friend to the Bronco world, Rod Hall's legacy has been cemented in the history of this vehicle. He's credited with being a pioneer in off-road racing and uh, we thank him for everything he's done for the Bronco. You can read more about Rod Hall's life in the description below. Now, that is almost all of the Bronco news for this month, but uh, 
at the end of the month, we got to be a part of something super cool, super exciting. I would normally save this for next month's Bronco Breakdown, uh, but it's up, so I figured I might as well tell you guys. If you watch Motor Trend on YouTube, 6.2 million subscribers, uh, if you're part of that band, you may have seen some familiar faces this past week. If you haven't watched it yet, or if you haven't heard of it, the week to wheeling Ford Bronco build, we got to be a part of it. We got to sit in the Motor Trend garage, we got to turn wrenches on this Bronco, and we got to be a part of the team that built this Bronco frame up in five days. It was such a great experience. You can check out all of the recaps in the description below. Uh, it was just a blast of a time, you know, being able to be a part of that momentous build. But again, check out the recap videos. I think it's a milestone for anybody to be able to build a Bronco in five days. It turns over, runs under its own power, looks complete. These guys did a phenomenal job. They cut, they welded what they had to, they smacked stuff with a hammer. You know, the things that all of you Bronco guys do in your own garage to make things work. You know, that's the kind of builders we were working with. It was a pleasure to work with them. Anyways, I'll talk about it in the next months to come. That is actually gonna be aired on TV, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, I will be making a behind the scenes video of that week to wheeling visit. You guys are definitely gonna wanna check that out. And there we go, that wraps up the Bronco news for June. The next segment is new products. Okay, so we are a little bit light on new products this month. Uh, we actually only have one. But uh, if you're into collectibles, then you're really gonna like this one. But bam We have the limited edition Big Ole Bronco. Enthusiasts consider this Bronco to be the most iconic desert racing vehicle of all time. And Real Art Replicas has made a limited edition scaled version of that Bronco for the public. Now, if you didn't catch that, is it bleh. This needs to be importantly said. It is limited edition. Now this limited edition model Bronco comes with a certificate of authenticity signed by Parnelli Jones himself. If you didn't know, that's who races this Bronco. Certificate of authenticity. You can actually see the silver Sharpie that he signed this deal with. That is cool, that's why it's limited time. So if you wanna snag one of these, head over to our website, links in the description, blah, blah, blah. Get you one before they run out. We only have a few of these left because they have been flying off the shelves because people realize that they're not gonna be around for too much longer. This is high quality stuff right here. Fragile like anything else, but pristine. I wouldn't get it for your four year old kid. Anyways, like I said, this is our only new product of the month. You know, go ahead and message us and tell us to pick up our game. You know, get us motivated to bump out a bunch of new products for you guys. Next month should be better. Stay tuned guys, we've got more sick products coming your way. Woo. Oh, I was actually squatting that whole time. What is that? Wait, what? That's not all. There's We've more. We've got more new stuff. We brought in Captain America today to explain. Captain, will you tell the people about what you've got there. This is a repop of the 7677 emergency brake pedal. If you've tried to get one for your rig in the past, you know the only place you can find them is uh, if they've been reconditioned or used on eBay. We've got this in stock right now. It is patterned brand after new. The, brand new. Patterned after the 7677, so it's a little bit beefier, but it will work on all 66 to 77 Ford Broncos. There you go. And that's not all. We've got our brand new billet shorty window cranks. Now why would you need a shorty window crank? Well you might just want them because they look so awesome, but sometimes when people have different full cage roll bars, the window crank can rub or hit the, hit the roll bar. You have to open the door to roll the window down, roll it up sometimes. These could help solve that problem. They're roughly an inch shorter than stock ones, gives you a little more clearance. We've got them in the black, we've got them in the clear, they look Awesome, you need to check these out online. Dress up your Bronco. Boo! <laughs> what, what do we do now? What do we do now? Mitch! Mitch, what do we do now? Bye.
I won't. Gonna hit you one time. Anyways, oh, there he is. Uh, we're gonna move on to future Bronco news. The first event on the list is the 2019 Bronco Takeover happening August 2nd through the 3rd. Now, this event is one of those good old beach cruise dune events uh, happening on the beautiful shores of Lake Michigan. The event will take place in Mir State Park and Valdu Lakes Campground. The cost is $25 to register. That includes a shirt, entry for raffle, entry for the show and sign, entry for the show and shine, little grab bag, and one meal ticket. I'll link their page below so you can get any more information on that. I'm not too sure how this event works. I've never been to this one. Always wanted to go to Michigan. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go this year. Definitely, I'm gonna make it out there sometime. So let me know how it goes, guys. But that's just a heads up. Uh, you got like a month to plan for that one. Also coming up in August uh, is none other than the Northwest Bronco Roundup, which is, yes, another beach dune event. Those are, those are so fun to go to. Northwest Bronco Roundup is going down in Florence, Oregon on August 14th through the 17th. This is personally one of my favorite events because like I've told a million people at this point, uh, just seeing a hundred plus Broncos ripping it across the sand dunes uh, at sunset. It's just, it's a beautiful sight. There's nothing like it. Again, this is just a heads up for the dates. There's no registration open or anything at this point yet, but check back in uh, next month's Bronco Breakdown and they should have all of that up and running. Uh, aside from events, I'm gonna try and list right now a few of the videos I have coming up, but I won't make any promises that'll actually get to them. This is just me trying to be organized and lay out a plan, uh, which probably won't work. Anyways, let's uh, let's see what we got here. First, like I said, I'll be doing the week to will in behind the scenes, and that is going to be super sweet. You get to see what a Motor Trend production actually looks like. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Next, I really want to get a Bronco story in. I have the one sitting from Super Celebration that I haven't edited yet. I have the body lift video to get to, but uh, that may get thrown on the back burner. We'll see. Other than that, uh, really, whatever comes up and whatever I feel like editing and posting. Lots of exciting stuff coming up, uh, but now it is time to reveal the Bronco of the month. This month, we give a whopping congratulations to Jason McClendon and his 1976 Ford Bronco Sport. If you check out the Instagram page for this Bronco, you will quickly see why we chose it as the Bronco of the month. When talking about an off-road Bronco and the outdoor life, Jason makes it clear that this Bronco is capable of taking him to some of the most beautiful spots on the planet. He's running a 302, three on the tree with a Dana 44 in the front and a nine inch in the rear. He's running 33 inch tires and a two and a half inch lift. There are a ton of other bells and whistles on this Bronco that make it off-road worthy. And all of that adds up to the reason why we chose Jason's Bronco as the June Bronco of the month. Congratulations, Jason. And with that out of the way, that is the June edition of the Bronco Break. Down. Now, I will say this before I wrap up. If you want your Bronco to have a chance at being the Bronco of the month and you don't feel like emailing us because that's old school, what you could do is tag us on Instagram and if you want a better chance at your Bronco being seen, go ahead and hashtag WH Bronco Breakdown and we will comb through all of those pictures. We'll go through the emails as well and at the end of the month, the team will go through and pick the Bronco of the month. We'll message you. We'll get all the specs about your Bronco and uh, you know it's a party from there guys so we hope to see your Bronco soon anyways guys that is a wrap I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of the Bronco breakdown we got a lot more coming up next month like I've said so uh, it's just a lot of goodies coming down the tree so make sure you subscribe make sure you leave a like make sure you leave a comment tell us what you guys want to see in future editions of the Bronco Breakdown. And with all of that being said,
I love saying this part. I really do. We will see you guys out there on the trail. Peace! Check, 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 one, check. Two. Check, one, two. This thing on? Good evening, Detroit! <laughs> How y'all doing out there tonight? Yeah, tonight. Tonight. <laughs> Detroit. Detroit. Rock City. <laughs> what do we do now? What do we do now? Mitch, Mitch, what do we do now? Mm -hmm.